In today's video, we'll do a quick look and review of the air quality monitoring unit that I got. This one specifically is made by Temtop. It is uh, an initially a fairly basic unit compared to some of the other items that are available. However, I wanted to start monitoring and I was researching air quality inside the home, specifically in the area of the house where I spend a lot of the time in. More, more specifically is that I'm getting an air purifier. So I wanted to start monitoring, well, what is my current um, air quality and is the air purifier is going to do its job so i made a whole separate video about that aspect we'll see how that goes but initially that's what i got this for so uh with that being said uh, let's take a look at this unit and see what it does or does not do within the unit itself uh, that comes uh in the box we also get the manual and then we also get a micro usb cable um, right here. So it is powered by USB. Uh, we do not get a power adapter. So what that means is that you have to get your own power, a USB power adapter, or you can uh, use your computer or find some sort of a USB outlet if you have in your house. In my case, I was able to repurpose an older uh, phone adapter uh, that has a USB output and it seems to work and charge this unit. In addition to running this unit on a USB power, uh, you can actually use it wirelessly, meaning that once it charges, it can work 16 hours without being plugged in. Roughly up to uh, 16 hours is what the manual claims. Uh, the unit does have a 3000 milliamp hour battery with uh, the voltage uh, rated on that one is at 3.7 volts. So uh, it is, as I mentioned, a fairly basic unit. They're, uh, they're ranging in price. Uh, for the basic unit, we are basically getting uh, two core measurements, the PM 2.5 and then PM 10. Uh, PM refers to the particulate matter. So the PM uh, 2.5 measures particulates that are less than 2.5 microns and uh, PM10 is obviously less than 10 microns. Uh, the biggest emphasis is on that 2.5 aspect, and the reason for that from the air quality aspect is that at the PM10 level, your body is actually able to uh, get any of those particulates out. So you can sneeze, you can cough. I know people don't like that, but in reality, the reason you sneeze and cough is to get rid of those items. Uh, when it comes to the PM2.5 uh, and smaller type of uh, items, particles, uh, they're much harder to remove from the body because they get into your lungs and then that can actually cause more irritation for, uh, especially for those that are more sensitive. So I will be concentrating on that PM 2.5 number more specifically for me. In addition to the PM readings, uh, this unit does show the current temperature. However, it is in Celsius uh, only. There is not a way to convert it to Fahrenheit or at least within the unit. Of course, you can convert it by doing some math. Um, and it also features the relative humidity. If you're going to be putting this on your desk, you will be able to see those bottom readings successfully. If you're going to mount it to the wall, uh, which you can do, um, then in that case, uh, you may not be able to see it unless you put it right on eye level because this, they're at the very bottom of the screen. And speaking of that, uh, in terms of mounting it, as I said, if you want to um, hang it, you can hang it right here or it has a stand so you can stand it this way. On the side, uh, this is where we are able to plug in the micro USB cord, and this is also the air inlet. So this unit uh, measures uh, the air quality using a laser uh, for the particulate matter. So it gets an uh, air inlet through here, and then it does the measurement using um, whatever technology it has behind it. In terms of button functionality, it is fairly simple. There are basically two buttons, as you can see. One of them is power, so if you press and hold, it will just go ahead and turn off. And then if you press it once quickly, uh, it'll go ahead and turn on. The time to power on is going to be fairly quick. As you can see, it has a loading bar. Uh, and as soon as it loads, it will actually start showing the readings. Uh, the second uh, unit here, or the second button here, is uh, to put it whether in a running mode or a hold mode. I'm not sure what the specific reason for a hold mode, but uh, I guess maybe if you're trying to take a picture of it or if you just want to document it so you can actually press, you'll see the display will show at the, at the top left hand section it goes to hold and then the unit uh, stops updating. You can record readings if you're trying to you know, log them and it also stops the fan from working at uh, that time as well when it's on hold and then you can press it again it's going to go into a running mode and when it's running you will have the fan start up again and then it continues to update the numbers. We do not get historical numbers here so this is basically uh, live updates as they're happening as the air is going through the inlet. Uh, there is no historical uh, information here at least within this unit. Uh, there are other units out there more costly, more expensive 
So if you want historical, you can do that. There's some, there are some smart units out there. I'm researching all that area right now. But on a basic unit, all you get is basically the current values. Inside of the air inlet here, uh, there is a fan that draws the air in for it to be measured. Um, the fan is uh, not super quiet, but it's not loud either, which means that other noises within the room will overpower this. But if you're in a perfectly silent room, you may be able to hear it. It would have been nice if the fan was a little bit quieter for my preferences when you do want a little bit of peace and quiet um, because you will hear it in those instances. Uh, something else that I mention will mention is that this display uh, has this white backlight and it is not uh, capable of being turned off. So if you want this for your bedroom, for example, uh, probably unless you want a very powerful nightlight, not sure if you want to be putting it in there. Uh, other than that, and if those are the only two monitoring aspects uh, that you're interested in, this unit will do its job. Uh, I started researching furthermore into air quality, air quality monitoring, and uh, there are units out there that I'm starting to take a look at as well that have uh, monitoring for formaldehyde, for example, or any uh, volatile organic compounds. So uh, again, uh, keeping in mind that if, what, depending on what you're researching and what you want to be monitoring for, uh, this for those other items, this unit will not cover those uh, items, but other units may. But for uh, kind of a general house, uh, general office environment, um, I think this will do a fairly decent job. As I said, probably not in a bedroom or in an area where light or, you know, the fan running uh, potentially may bother some folks. And this unit does seem to be very sensitive and correspond to the environment that I'm putting it in. So uh, I do think that it is uh, working well. Uh, for example, um, if I'm, you know, I was just doing a little bit of dusting and if I'm gonna, you know, wave that in front of the unit here, we'll see, we'll see those numbers start to increase fairly quickly here. So same thing happens, you know, if you're gonna take it outside, you'll see those numbers starting to drop. So in terms of sensitivity and accuracy, it seems to be actually very nice and very responsive. And taking the units outside, we can see the PM 2.5 numbers dropping, which would also make sense because generally the outdoor air is oftentimes much better than the indoor air without the air purifier. To do a little bit, to do a little bit more testing, I have an old air furnace filter here. So what I'll do is shake it just a little bit. I know it's nasty. And I want to see what happens to those numbers. Not good. Not something we want to be breathing. I was able to successfully remove the back cover. It is fairly easy. It is held by those uh, tabs along the perimeter. So in the future, if that is necessary, we can do that. The reason I did it, I wanted to verify if it is in fact a 3000 milliamp battery rated um, per specifications, and it is. I know the last zero is actually hidden by the zip tie here, but I verified that it is actually, in fact, 3000 milliamp hour. And the other reason is I wanted to see if we needed to kind of clean some dust, whether we can do that or not. And it looks like we can. There is nothing in the manual that states we should ever open it, but uh, because it was so easy, I wanted to take a look at that. I've also been comparing the PM 2.5 readings with another unit that I got recently uh, because I also wanted to start monitoring my formaldehyde uh, readings and uh, volatile organic compounds. Uh, so those are those uh, two units that you can see right here. But the actual PM 2.5 readings uh, on this unit is right here. And they're generally consistent for the most part. There are some differences uh, periodically here and there. I think this one is more responsive when it actually, when the number goes up. Uh, this one is gonna take a little bit of uh, time. But overall, it seems to be a very good unit. It is responsive to the environment and up updates that information fairly quickly. And it also has the ability to run on battery power which means you can unplug it move it around to different locations throughout the house and you have roughly 16 hours of battery power with it anyway i hope you found this video helpful and beneficial thanks for watching take care